where I usually turn to go to the glider operation, and it's a nasty dirt road. And it does not look like anybody's flying powered parachutes today. So, I'm, but I'm going to go check the gliders, nevertheless. So, see a couple of trucks, but I do not see any. Oh, there's a parachute out on the field. So, let's see. Uh, I don't know that we're going to. We don't have really much time to check out the power parachutes, but we will. Uh, just do a quick pass around the glider operation. So there's the babies. And uh, we're going to go over on the other side of the field today. And we got the guy running the parachute there. And Doesn't look, it looks like he's just about ready to launch. Might be fun to watch him, but I really don't have time to do that today. So we're going to head over to the other side. feet above sea level here not very high up and really what I'm trying to do today is uh, prevent altitude sickness that's one of the most important things in my life is not getting altitude sick when you live uh, nine feet above sea level uh, it really gets to you after a while you have to get higher up so I have to uh, get up at least a couple thousand feet to cure my uh, altitude sickness and over on the right is a parachute jump operation and and there's the uh, jump plane a nice caravan and uh, doesn't look like anybody's flying today at least not yet so anybody's jumping there's the airport office for Homestead and we're headed to Homestead Executive Jet Center where we're going to meet Steve Rogers and uh, do a little Cessna flying and I'm 10 minutes ahead of schedule, which is not too bad. And there's the parachute guy off in the distance. Okay, so uh, like we're here in the hangar with the tow plane. And we're not going to be flying gliders today because, was it last weekend or the weekend before? I think it was last weekend. Last weekend? Weekend before. weekend before, we had a little engine problem and we have decided to fix the engine, overhaul the engine. It's about that time. So no glider flying today. There's Steve Rogers who's going to be flying with me. We're going to fly a Cessna. He's a CFI and I am not current in power and I haven't flown in like 11 months and so what we were just talking about is how flying is a perishable skill and uh, we want to we want to uh, fr freshen up Stuart's skills so he doesn't hurt himself or bend up the airplanes I got gotcha. you okay we got the sound okay on this you have to go through the menu it's just touch and there's two of those all right, now you've got the map, and that's normally what we look at is the map. Now, this on this audio panel, I always listen to number two for the for the AWOS. To the altitude one. And there it is. Six hundred. It'll go through that. Homestead General Aviation Airport. Automated weather observation. One three four six Zulu weather. Wind one two zero at eight. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition 2,300 scattered. Temperature 3,1 Celsius. 2.25 Celsius. 
altimeter 3017. Remarks, density altitude 1,600. Don't worry about that. It takes a while to spool up. 3017. General Aviation Airport. Automated weather observation. 1, 3, I can just 4, turn it off 7, now. Zulu weather. Just turn it off. Wind the, this 1, the, uh, 1, 0, receive, 8. No, just, yeah, there you go. This is to talk. This is to listen. Okay. I'm going to just pull out of here a little bit. Right. Okay, clear right there. Clear left. So the wind is 120 at uh, 8, so we're going to use runway 210. And we're going to taxi from here or go the other one? Uh, well, let's just hold short right here. you got somebody taxiing, so let's hold short and do our run-up right here. Okay, I'm going to turn the airplane with the tail towards the grass in a second here. Right. Just so we don't do any prop washing. I know it's not into the wind, but... We'll see what happens. So, right. Okay, so we've got the checklist for our run-up, and the engine has been running for a little bit now. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, the brakes are set, fuel's on both, trim is set for takeoff, flight controls are free and correct. Mixture's rich, primer's in and locked, and we're going to go to 1700. Thank you for the prop start, 66 six, Echo. No problem. I should have shut the windows, but anyway, so there's both, there's left, back to both, there's right. Left, back to both. I didn't see any drop. See the carb heat. And I noticed a drop with the carb heat. And let's try it at idle, see if the engine stalls with the carb heat on. Okay, engine runs at low speed with carb heat. So that would be our landing configuration. Okay, so uh, in terms of the avionics, let's, we're on 122.8. We are, uh, we know where the wind, we're going to head over to runway 104 our takeoff. Okay, clear, the taxiway's clear, so here we go. So we've done our run up, we're uh, going to taxi over to hold short and see if there's anybody in the pattern. And the wind sock confirms the uh, ASOS right. weather. And uh, homestead traffic, you got uh, Cessna 66 Echoes holding short of runway 10. Any traffic in the pattern homestead, please advise. And that normal. 515 Delta joining the downwind for runway 10 at the 45. Oh. Yeah. Well, normally they don't answer. <laughs> homestead traffic, 66 Echo taking runway 10 will be remaining in the pattern for touch and goes at homestead. Okay, so here we go. Lining up on the runway. And I'm gonna keep rolling and just go ahead and smoothly accelerate for takeoff here. This is not your normal 172. This 180 horse makes a big difference. It's really nice. Okay, airspeed is alive, coming through up on 50 knots and wants to begin to lift off here. Seventy seventy six is our climb out or we start out at about seventy three and then lower the nose to seventy eight. Seventy three I used to four hundred feet. Okay. And seventy eight on up to the uh, uh, initial turnout is gonna be at seven hundred feet because it's three hundred feet below the traffic pattern for the crosswind and then climb to a thousand for the downwind. Okay, I see it definitely needs a lot of rudder here. And coming up on the 400 feet, I'm going to lower the nose a little to 78. Okay, and uh, you tell me when you want to reduce the power and the crosswind, or yeah, I, I, usually once you get your your crosswind or your downwind airspeed, then you can bring the power back. I teach, you know, it's pitch, airspeed, power, and trim. Okay, through 700, I'm going to go ahead and turn crosswind. Five north of the field, um, request airport advisory. 
currently using uh, runway 10 left traffic, uh, coupling the pattern uh, 9 knots out of the east. Uh, I tell them to slow down to about 80 or so on downwind. 2,000 RPMs works good. Keep you nice and slow. Homestead traffic out. 66 six Echo uh, turning from crosswind to downwind, looking for traffic in the pattern of Homestead doing touch and goes. Homestead. 515 Roman Dutch turning base for runway 10, Homestead traffic. Okay, we're a little bit high. I'm going to bring the power back down to 2,000 as you suggested. At 2,100 there. And there. I need to use my feet. Boy, Bimini, oh boy. Bimini, uh, Seneca, seven mile final for Bimini. And looking for traffic Double trying to enter on a 45. Yeah, I don't see him yet. I have the traffic turning final. final. And we're still very high, climbing, got some thermal action here. I a little bit, there's always some thermals out here, it seems like. So I'm going to put the nose down a little. Now, do we want to use carb heat today? Home for traffic, uh, out of 1395, standard landing. We always do in the Cessna. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're a beam the, the numbers. Yeah. A and beam, I'm, yeah, you go to 1500 carburetor heat all the way out. Okay, and I, on. I tell my students, just maintain your altitude till you get your airspeed. Okay. And just continue out on the downwind. Okay, well, we're in the white arc, so I'm going to get 10, not 10 degrees flaps. On this airplane, you can get 10 degrees at 110. It's right here in the blue. Okay. So that'll help you slow down sometimes. Okay, we're still kind of high, so I'm going to go a little bit farther, and I'm have out of practice, so I want to definitely have a nice long final to get my uh, descent rate right. All right. So we're like stable now at a 500 foot descent rate. Uh, the throttle is actually a little more, a little less than 1500. I'm going to bring it back up to 1500. Whatever you want, you know, that's your that's your altitude in your right hand, your left hand is your speed. 515 on go around, 515 Romeo Delta on go around for runway 10 on the open. Homestead traffic, uh, 66 Echo turning left base runway 10 Homestead. So I think the distance is good for me to have a little longer final. P-L-A-R. Well, that looks about right, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We want to kind of get used to the power I settings. Five Romeo Delta turning crosswind for runway one zero. Home Next, to bring it up to 1500. I'm not going to do another notch of flaps until we turn final. Because we're not that high and we are pretty far out. How far left or right of the center line can you see the uh, pappies? I do not know. I can see it now. Though. Ten degrees either side. Ten degrees. Okay. So turning Homestead traffic six six echo turning final runway one zero Homestead touch and go. Okay, so back down to fifteen hundred. Do another notch of flaps. Got a wind out of the right. A uh, little so bit. There you go. Now reduce the power and... All right, now just wait for it. Ooh! Very good. All right. Okay. Car be cold. Flaps coming up. All right. Go or check, go. Check. Flaps are up. 46953, entering 45. Right, I mean left downwind. One zero, homestead. I don't know, that's the first one. Three nine five tangle be down one zero. First one in eleven months. Not bad. We can reuse the airplane, so it must have been good.